Hi, hello friends. Welcome to World Explorer India. Today, topic of discussion is total parenteral nutrition. Total parenteral nutrition is also known as hyperalimentation. It is the administration of carbohydrates, amino acids, vitamins, minerals via central vein, and it is to provide the nutrition to the patient and TPN also boosts the immune system. TPN solutions are high in glucose. TPN usually given to provide total nutrition to the patient but it's not the supplemented nutrition why we are giving tpn is it is to meet the nutritional requirements when not possible to give feeds orally or by enteral route and it prevents the catabolism and it also maintain the glucose levels and avoid the hypoglycemia of a patient indications gerd malabsorption syndrome severe malnutrition, inflammatory bowel diseases after surgery of GI tract like colon surgeries and to sustain life and to meet the nutritional needs of patients with the GI dysfunction, anorexia nervosa, trauma and buns patients. Usually given through the central venous root or peripherally inserted central catheters. TPN consists of lipid emulsion, amino acids and glucose. You can see if there is 1000 ml, there will be approximately 200 ml of lipid emulsion which includes refined soy oil, refined olive oil, purified egg, lecithin, glycerol, sodium oleate, sodium hydroxide and water. Amino acids, it includes both essential and non-essential amino acids and uh, along with this there are electrolytes, sodium, potassium, magnesium, phosphate, acetate, chloride and acetic acid and glucose usually is D20% that is dextrose 20% and also calcium chloride along with this we are going to give in the total parenteral nutrition. So both the essential and non-essential amino acids are included in the TPN. If we are seeing the characteristics of TPN the volume of 1000 ml the osmolarity is very high that is 750 milli osmols per liter. pH is 6, nitrogen is 3.6 grams, amino acids 22 grams, total calories is 610 kilocalories, non-protein calories 520 kilocalories, glucose calories is 320 kilocalories and lipid calories are 200 kilocalories. Non-protein calorie by nitrogen ratio is 144 kilocalories per gram nitrogen. These are the electrolytes, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, phosphate, acetate and chloride. These are present in the total parenteral nutrition. Reconstituted emulsion can be used for 7 days if it is stored at 2 degrees to 8 degrees, followed by maximum of 48 hours at room temperatures that is not greater than 25 degrees centigrade. You should not give any other additives along with TPN. Final mixture of TPN is hypertonic so it can cause irritation to the veins. Administration usually given through the infusion pump and it should be given at the constant rate and slow infusion usually given over 18 hours or up to 24 hours etc. Usually given via central line that is peripheral inserted central line or the central line usually preferred is superior vena cava and be aware of the phlebitis risk tube filter should be used. Sudden stopping of TPN will lead to hypoglycemia so you should not stop TPN suddenly but you can taper the TPN during the last hours so that there is no rebound hypoglycemia. Discontinue by adding D10 at the constant rate of TPN to avoid the hypoglycemia complication. Frequent RBS monitoring to assess the complication of hypoglycemia. Intake output monitoring and vitals monitoring is essential. Central lines, semi-permeable transparent dressing should be used or biopass dressing should be used so that we can be able to see if there is any contamination or we can also prevent the central line associated infections. The complications are central line associated infections like streptococcus, epidermidis, staphylococcus, aureus. So these are very common complications 
hypoglycemia, hypokalemia, electrolyte imbalances, fluid overload which again may lead to congestive heart failure, glucose overload will lead to asthmatic diuresis and uh, stimulate the insulin secretion and uh, there is a in extracellular to intracellular fluid potassium shift which may lead to arrhythmias and also lead to cardiopulmonary dysfunction. Bilinary stresses is documented because of which there may be chances of cholecystitis in later stages. Late complications are gallstone formation. Notify immediately if there is tachycardia if temperature is greater than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, chills, hypothermia or uh, edema or erythema of the skin, leukocytosis and altered levels of consciousness. This is a bibliography from which I have taken the information, Harrison's textbook and uh, Nancy H. Quick reference to critical care. If you like this video, do subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you.